Hello everyone and welcome to Shadow of Destiny or you might be familiar by its alternate name Shadow of Memories uh, if it was released outside of North America. Uh, so this is actually a subscriber request and one that was added to my list a long long time ago last year. Uh, so this is Shadow of Destiny, a Konami, Konami game. I don't know anything about it other than it was recommended to me, I should enjoy it, and also it looks really interesting. Um, I don't believe it's a long game either. I did kind of have a bit of a bit of a look uh, just to get the general gist of when this game came out and it doesn't seem like it's too long. Uh, so I just want to just add it as a little bonus episode bonus game on the channel and also just to show that like I am intending to work through the list the ever-growing list of subscriber recommendations of games that uh, you guys would like me to see uh, games that you think that I would enjoy uh, so I'm very excited to get into Shadow of Destiny let's start and and see what it's all about I'm getting spontaneous it's like it's like 11 p.m. and instead of going to sleep I'm like I'm gonna turn the lights off and play, play a game released in the same year by Konami uh, as Silent Hill 2. Let's start the game. Prologue. Ooh, spooky, spooky loading title. Trying to get as much light from my monitor as I can so it doesn't pick up my green screen. Stabbed in the back already. Died before it could even begin. That's an interesting premise. That is not the voice that I imagined for him. Am, am I dead? Bingo. Bingo. <laughs> Who's there? How does it feel to be dead? I... Damn it, who is this? Are you making fun of me? <laughs> not at all. I beg your pardon if I've offended you. You are strongly fated today. You see, you are destined to die. What? But if you have the will to somehow reverse that fate by yourself, I can lend you some measure of strength. How about it? Will you deal with me? Thanks, but no thanks. Sounds too good to be true. Why? Can't you trust me? Of course not. I get it. You're the big S, the devil. <laughs> In exchange for your immortal soul and all that, am I right? Your soul? Oh, please. In this day and age? 
If I do have an agenda, it's that you survive. Hmm. Let me think it over a bit. Of course. Of course. Go ahead. But don't keep me waiting too long. I don't much like to be left hanging. Well, what reason is there to procrastinate? You either just die here and now, or you prevent it. It's that simple. What have you got to lose? All right. I'm sorry I called you the devil. I don't want to die yet. Please, help me. All right. But I want you to be aware of something. You have to understand that the destiny that awaits you is a potent one, which means that just because you've managed to avoid death once doesn't mean you're free of the threat. Unless you tear out its very root, destiny can't be cheated. So, coming back to life isn't the hard part, huh? Man, but that can't be helped. You're right, but that's also where your own strengths come into play. Are you ready? I'm going to give you some of my time-shifting powers. I'm going to give you this digipad. Please use it well. Digipad. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. So we have we have control. Wonderful. Um, awesome. Let me just have a look. How to play. Um, interesting. Let's take a look at the controller. It looks like we've got movement, camera, the ability to talk, and select an item. So there's not there's not much in in the form of controls, which is which is interesting. Uh, so there you go. That's cool. Let's look at how to play. Let's have a look at everything that we've got. So we're getting a digipad, and we're getting gifted time shifting powers. Uh, you can time travel by selecting the digipad from the item window and choose the destination from what is displayed. You need energy units to time travel. The gauge on the screen shows the number of energy units owned. I cannot time travel without these. They can be found throughout the game. You need an opportunity to time travel. The digipad reacts to time zones related to Ike and the times to which you can time travel increase. In the beginning, you cannot time travel. As you go through events, you gain the ability to time travel. The gauge and the digipad start glowing to indicate I can time travel. Uh, when this happens, I can also travel to time zones that I've traveled to before. Cool. We are literally going, we literally start the game dying and then we time travel to then prevent our death. That's a, that's a really interesting starting concept for sure. Uh, you have the town map from the beginning, select it from the item window, press the triangle button to look at it directly. Scribbling block. Ike makes it a habit to write down what he has been doing. If you get lost, read your notes. You can select the scribbling block from the item window. And fortune teller. A fortune teller to give Ike her prophecies of the time of destiny is present at the former alchemist's house on the map. You can go there as a guide for how much time is left, etc. Um, yeah, Shadow of Destiny seems like a much more fitting name than Shadow of Memories, but I don't know why they would bother to rename it. Uh, let's return. Oh, I am now in first person. What has happened? How did I change to... Ooh. Alright, so if I press the... If I press the, the right trigger, R2, I get put into first person, but it's inverted controls. And I can only look directly in front of me. I can't actually turn around. Um, so I think I can only interact with the glowing items. This is just like objects that are on the ground. Yeah, I can only interact with the glowing items, which is the digipad. It's not as though you can use it anywhere or any time you want. This will respond to phenomena that have some relevance to you as its user. As soon as it begins to respond, it's usable, and you can select the digipad by pushing on the square button. After that, you specify the destination time and enter the X button to be sent to that time, alright? Okay, I get it. I get it, mysterious voice. By just using it when you're about to die. It's better to make use of it to remove the underlying cause of your death. Oh, and one more thing. Something else? Yes, yes. 
and it's very important. If the response begins in the time space you've traveled out to, please come back immediately. Other people and objects can be just left in another time and stay intact. But that isn't true for you as the user. If it starts to respond, you need to come back quickly or you won't be able to get back at all. Just be It looks like time is something even more serious than I know. Good luck. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so we've been we've been saved, saved by a mysterious force that has now given us a device and a set of challenges. To hey, what if you what if you did something cool and prevented your own death? I mean, I'm curious. Yeah. Uh, Two thousand one at two p.m. Sir, please wake up. Are you all right? Do you feel sick or something? <laughs> Still holding his spaghetti. Sorry, I, I fell asleep. <laughs> Dana. <laughs> Dana, that'll do. Okay. Bit of an awkward interaction there. guy's got super bold fashion choices he's like green pants green jacket ain't nobody gonna tell me what to wear still got that digipad I, uh, I'll, I'll just leave what I owe for the coffee here <laughs> see you later oh it says Kathy on the door Kathy I think that's because I'm in a um, I'm in a European town. Hmm. Two o'clock. I still can't believe what just happened. But since I have this digipad here, I guess it really did happen. Am I the only one who didn't think that he would really sound like this? I thought that he would have a bit of a lighter voice, but no. Oh, okay. Camera... Yeah. The location is very, um... This is very German. And talk to people. Oh, that's creepy. Ugh. What do you want? Okay, time passed. 30 seconds. Did I just waste 30 seconds talking to someone? I wish I could kind of tilt the camera downwards a bit. It's a bit low down for my uh, my taste. Me? A performer? Uh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, but this square does get a lot of performers. You know, street performers. They get a pretty big crowd going. It's kind of nice. Okay, so I'm passing time every time I interact with someone. What's up, dog? You look aggressive. I guess this is as far as I go. <laughs> Alright. Time passed, another 30 seconds. Because we won't go past a dog. I guess I have I can time travel, right? Oh, we can just go enter buildings? Jesus, okay. I didn't know the limitations of this game. I didn't know if we we're gonna be able to just enter random houses or not. Apparently. Apparently we can. Oh, the controls a little bit. A little bit janky. Hello. Let's have a chat. May I help you? If you need a city map, please help yourself. 
By the way, if you want to look at the map, just press the triangle button. Thank you. Got old city map. Wonderful. Former alchemist house, cafe, city hall, bakery, antique shop, Photoshop, church. We got like a, uh, and then a museum and a tower. We got like an objective, so like where we have to go in the Lebensbaum first, or do I just walk around until I uh, decide that I should time travel? Okay, well I got an old city map so we can clear out, uh, we can classify the city hall as complete. We've completed a whole location. Oh. Oh, okay. Thought we were going to be in a full cutscene there, but it was just... Ah, oh, we're blocked by another dog. Okay, so I think we're kind of like blocked into a particular... particular area. We'll know if we can't proceed because there'll be a weird dog saying, no, you cannot. Yeah, I re unfortunately don't have much access to camera controls other than left and right, so I can't do up and down. I just have to deal with the fact that it's a bit of a low sitting camera. Bazamai. It is closed now. Oh. Okay, so we have to actually wait until later. So the time moves in real time. I didn't know this was Shenmue. Interesting. Shall we go to the former alchemist house? So I do this to... If I can't use it for talking, maybe I can use it for something else. A map of this town. An old map of this town. Oh, so there's... Lebensbaum 1500. Alright, well I guess we're time traveling to the 1500s then. At some point. There's so much happening, I'd better write them down. Postcard with a view of the city by Carl Franson. Cool. I didn't get to even look at it, but that's fine. Uh, it can be used at certain moments only. Let me have a look in this. Right now, I wish there was someone I could talk to. But who could I talk to about this situation? Something weird is happening to me. I heard a strange voice the other day, and this is what it said. You are fated to die this day. If you wish to prevent it, use the digipad. The digipad will not work unless it responds to an event related to you. It's important to remember that you cannot remain indefinitely in a particular time destination. Okay. Uh, this is where we just came out of, and this is that girl that we just spoke to. Yeah, let me check out this former alchemist house that seems like a good idea. Is that in here? No, nope. I'm a bit too tall for that door frame. Ugh, I get, you get caught on everything. I guess it has the uh, the icon in front of it, if I can enter a door or not. Yes? I hate to be rude, but I don't have time for chit chat. The, oh, this is creepy as hell. Yeah, we can go in here. Ooh, what's this? Green glowing item. Fortune's told. Well, I never noticed this place before. Alright, I guess we're going straight in. Fortune telling time. Not creepy. I've been expecting you. <laughs> Actually, I just happened to stop by, and I was wondering if you could tell me my fortune. Am I going to die soon? For you, I will do it for free. Thanks. I really need this. Please, don't just give me the usual niceties. This is very serious for me. Don't worry. Fated hour is 2.30. What? 
Whatever I foresee, you can change. If you take no action, the fate I see will befall you for certain. But I seem to see in you the strength to defy fate itself. The power to defy fate? If, for instance, and this is only an example, your fate is to be stabbed while taking a walk after you leave this place, and this would happen if you are alone at the fated hour. But if you know what awaits you, you would find people to be with, so that you would not be by yourself, unprotected. But then what? If you are among others at the fated hour, the assassin must give up his quarry, and fate would have been defied. But a single change will affect all else that follows it. How it changes, no one can tell. There are too many threads, too many tangles. I cannot help you with what lies so far ahead. And your actions could bring even greater danger. But if fate can be changed, you should fight as hard as you can. If you can return here after the appointed hour has passed, then I will tell you the next fortune. All right. I think I can trust you. <laughs> okay. All right. You, I can trust you. Digipad's glowing, baby. Um, time passed three minutes. So I can now time travel. Um, but what I'm thinking is... As long as I'm with someone at 2.30, and I'm thinking I could do that even in the present, as long as I'm with someone... Got energy unit. Ah. As long as I'm with someone, then I can't die, right? I can just chill out with this guy, my new best friend. Or, I can time travel. And then eventually... Um, eventually come back to this time and talk to the fortune teller. This first person view is so, so creepy. Boring, isn't it? Anything I can do for you? Um, yes, hang out with me or I'm gonna die. Alright, there's another dog there. This is such a bizarre concept for a game. Walk around the marketplace and wait for your death, sir. So, oh, another dog. Alright, so we're definitely just being kept into this place. Should I should I try for the should I see what it does? Digipad. If I go to the past, maybe I can gather a group of people. Ah, okay. If I go to the past, maybe I can gather a group of people. Oh, yep, yeah, I'm, sh I'm sure that p that street performer who was right in front of me is going to love seeing that. Ooh. We've gone an hour beforehand. Okay. Ah, I'm getting sh given two... Two time periods. So the present and... Ooh. Ooh, mysterious woman appears. Um, okay, so I'm being given two time periods. The time period I'm currently in and the time period uh, that I was in before. Hello, mysterious woman. What's going on? Uh, excuse me. Have you seen a man walking around here? I'm a man walking around here. Okay, I guess I'll look for a man walking around here that isn't me. What? Looking for a date? <laughs> Do me a favor. Go away. I look strange. Mind your own business. You were nicer an hour in the future. Alright, so am I looking for a man that's walking around this place? 
Should I I'll go back to the fortune teller literally an hour before I before I got here? Okay, so I can just pick up energy unit at the same place. But if I pick it up in the past, then I can't have it in the future. Let me go on here. Oh! I wanted to check and see! Dude, I'm literally asleep. Oh, that's weird as fuck. Buddy, I didn't think you would touch yourself. I just thought you would say it was weird. <laughs> Holy shit. I would legitimately was just like, oh, maybe he'll just have a cut. Maybe he'll just have a cut scene. Oh my god. I was like, he'll just have a cut scene and go, oh. Life is a wheel of changes. I was just like, oh yeah, he'll just, you know, be chilling out. He'll just go, wow, it's weird that I'm here. But no, game legitimately just said, you're dead. Wiped from existence. That's incredible. Um, I think I've gone back to the menu because I think this is the opening movie. Yeah, this is the opening movie, I think. So creepy! Being watched by someone. Yeah, okay. Wonderful. Uh, let's start the game. Can I continue? I haven't saved the game yet. <laughs> oh, I didn't know if there was an option to like save manually or whether it would auto save. Uh, but it looks like I just have to quickly do this again. Um, so. Let's, uh, let's start this one again. Alright, so we're back here. Strange woman. Uh, excuse me, have you seen a man walking around here? Also, low-key, the fortune teller, fortune teller sounds like, uh, Maz Kanata. <laughs> Got, like, similar, similar voices. When you live long enough, you see the same eyes in different people. Um, well, the bar will definitely be closed. I assume that we're looking for a man, based off what the mysterious uh, woman said. Aha! Aha! Hello, you're a mysterious man. I can tell by the hat and briefcase, sir. You're not fooling anybody. You're a mysterious gentleman. Have you seen a woman wrapped in a coat wandering around here? As a matter of fact, yes I have, sir. Um, can I, can I reunite you? I've got to find that woman. Okay, should I now just go back to her and go, hey, I found him. I found your mysterious man. This music is very strange. It's an odd choice. Not sure if I like the music. Uh, we'll just have to see how, see how we go. Sounds like someone's just kind of randomly pressing buttons on a little keyboard. Where can he be? Well, I mean... Can I use... Alright, can't, can't use the phone. Can't, can't call him. Excuse me, did you have his phone number? We'll call him. I've got a phone. Actually, I should probably get the, um, I should probably get that map. I forgot to get the map because I died. So let's go get that map again. Because <laughs> I literally erased myself from existence. So that's fun. Don't go to the coffee shop. <laughs> and touch myself. 
I came May out I wrong. You? If you need a city map, please help yourself. Yes, please. By the way, if you want to look at the map, just press the triangle button. Got the old city map. Cool. So now we have a map of this town and an old map of this town. So I'm just a bit confused at the whole situation with this person and the other person. I'm supposed to do something before 2.30 to gather a group of people. I've got, I've got two people in this square right now. Hello, miss. Can you go get the old man in the coat for me? Hmm. Oh. You want me to come to the square at 2.30? Yes. What's going to happen in the square? A performer, maybe? Yes. Well, all right. I don't have anything else to do anyway. Cool. Okay. I talk to these guys and say, hey, want to see something cool at 2.30? It's me getting stabbed in the back. Okay, I mean that was easy. I didn't really need much much convincing for that one. Should I ask anyone in the coffee shop to go? So you've got to go back to the square, please. I've got to find that woman. I mean, man, if you just let me talk to you, I I would tell you exactly what you need. Hello. Have you seen my girl? Ooh, at the square. Okay. Yes. I'll go find her. Then. I will, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm just bringing people together. That's that's my job. All right, my my little my little guy's glowing, so I guess I could time travel back if I wanted before two thirty and have a little party in the square, and everybody can see me get almost murdered. I think we're good. Maybe I'll go into the coffee shop one last time, but I won't interact with my own sleeping body. Will everyone, would everyone just freak out and be like, Sir, do you have a twin? This will be an interesting detail. So, if I look at all of these details, I don't have the option to save my game. I just have return, option, and how to play. I guess, if I die, I die. <laughs> And and that's it. So that that's fun and exciting. Um, yeah, I can just I can just risk it, I guess, to and hopefully not die. All right, let's go in here. Don't interact with my own body. Okay, he doesn't want anything. Hello, sir. Can I talk to you? Yes. Yes. What about you? <laughs> what is happening here? Hello. Excuse me, sir. Have we met before? Good line. I mean, yes, we, we actually have. Um, but not for you. What? Don't talk to me if you've got nothing to say. <laughs> I thought this guy was like a teenager or like a kid. He sounds like a full-grown man. He's like, hey, I'm eating my spaghetti here. Leave me alone. All right. Don't interact with my own body. Get the hell out. Nobody in there. Nobody in there is going to help out. They're a fixed point in time. I think I've got all the people that I need to go to the square. Let's time travel back, baby. It's best that I return as soon as possible. And let's wait out my murder. That's either going to happen or not. Oh, hope that old lady doesn't have a heart attack due to the shock nature of me literally time traveling. 15 minutes till murder time. All right. How weird is it that only an hour ago is when man and woman mysteriously... Oh, juggler. Is when man and woman um, were chilling out, like looking to be found. 
Me? A performer? Uh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, but this square does get a lot of performers. You know, street performers. They get a pretty big crowd going. It's kind of nice. Cool. Well, that's what's happening at the moment, which is great. So they're all going to have a great time. What if the juggler is the murderer? Um, before 2.30, we've got a bit of time to walk around. So I'm just going to check on this place. I can just keep getting the same energy unit from this spot whenever I time travel. So I'm just going to keep getting that just so I have it on me. Is the man around here? Nope, he's gone. So they're both gone. Very interesting. This music is kind of driving me insane. But I guess that's the point of the game. Nothing, Nothing's working. Nothing's right. I don't think my body would be in here now because I should be my present self. I guess this is as far as I go. Oh. Okay. I, I can't... Alright. Can't go in there in the, in the present time. Interesting that I could go in there in the past. Let's interact with the group to fast forward my murder. Hello. What? Oh, we're in a cutscene. That lovely woman just chilling out. Okay. <laughs> Luke, I'm busy right now. Don't bother me. I'm the one who asked you to come here, lady. Quiet. I'm watching the show. Everyone's pissed off at my existence. I I reunited you with your daughter, lady. Imagine if I just get. Now here's a guy with no worries. Imagine if I just get murdered here. <laughs> Still gets killed. Ooh. Turn around, Ike! There was someone behind me. Oh, but it looks like the crowd scared him off. Oh, that fortune teller. She told me to come back. I should go look her up again. And then as soon as I leave the crowd and I'm on my own, I get killed. Prologue completed. Total time, 10 minutes. Yep, it, it was really, definitely 10 minutes. So I can save at the end of, like, chapters. So I want to save? Yes. Let's save. So we do have the option to save, which is good. Chapter 1. At 2.30 p.m. Did my fate change? Did anything happen? Only one way to find out, buddy boy. I mean, we're still alive. Hello, fortune teller lady. What's good? You have been defying fate, haven't you? I am beginning to see a new thread. I've been a naughty boy. Ah. Oh. You are still in danger. Three o'clock is now the fated hour. What? What? You mean I still haven't gotten to the root of the problem? If you can return here, even after the appointed hour has passed, then I will tell for you the next fortune. Okay, Maz. Maz Canada, the fortune teller. Interesting. So, I'm now scheduled to die at three. That's a good little, good little extension of time. Um, great. Oh, there's literally a fire. Is that the bar? Team. Ooh, new NPCs, guys. Do you see the fire? Jeez, I don't think anybody can make it out of that mess. Every character in this game does not have a voice that necessarily belongs to them. Only a few so far really have. Like, the the female voice actors, definitely. The male voice actors are all over the place. Ooh, look at that thing burn. 
Look at that thing burn! That's exactly what an arsonist would say, but sure. What's wrong with you, kid? The bar's not even open yet. Grandpa's in there. Please help him. Help, please. <laughs> The heat of the fire is too great, it's too dangerous. I'll try getting inside. I can, I have a choice. I can choose to rescue a grandpa and sacrifice my own beautiful long life. Or I can just l let him burn, baby. I wonder, well, oh, this is interesting that we have a choice. I feel like I'll just die here. I like, I'm kind of curious because death is still a thing. I mean, let's try, right? I have just saved. Let's try get inside. I was going to talk to uh, the other characters, but I spoke to the crying kid instead. And then I died. Are you fucking joking me? I'm not a heroic character whatsoever. Oh my god, that's so funny. It's like... <laughs> oh, that's funny. So it's just like, you can literally like try and... Um... Oh, it's 240. Ooh! I thought I was going to get a game over. Man, this is not a good time. Yes, it is. I can get the grandpa out. Oh, dude. Oh, okay. Well, I could have just gotten that time thingy anyway. Untergrund. Dude. As if he... This. How stupid is Ike? He's like, oh, not now. It's like, dude, time travel to before the fire. Get the grandpa out. Come on, Ike. The fire has not started yet at this time. At 2 p.m. This is so cool. Take me back, baby. Rescue grandpa. Time travel, go. Back to 2 p.m. again. Alright, let's break into the let's break into the bar. It is closed now. Then what's grandpa doing in there? Getting goddamn plastered before opening time. Oh. <gasps> oh, he's an arsonist. Mate. Damn it. Dude. Kids and arsonist. But who was that person responsible for the fire? Dude, we're gonna travel back to the future and beat up that fucking kid. <laughs> we're gonna beat up that fucking kid. Um, I need to get back before it's 3 p.m. because then I die, right? That's exactly how that goes. It's 2 p.m. and you're still here. Can I reunite you with the woman yet? I've gotta find that woman. Sir! If you only would allow me the chance. I'm going to talk to the woman and then we'll travel back to the future and beat that kid up for being a fire starter. What's curious is they were there at 1.30, they weren't there at normally at like two, but now they are. It's like these two characters are only here when I travel to the past. Doesn't matter when exactly, but just when I'm in the past. Where can he be? Wow, if only you guys were capable of like moving these little things that are attached to your body called legs, and then you would find each other. It's best that I return as soon as possible. Let us go. Nice. 
247, 13 minutes till I die. Place on fire. Interesting that I thought that I would have put out the fire, right? Oh. Ooh, cool. There you go. So this is what it means to change the past. You see the events change in real time when you arrive. Chapter 1 completed. Hell yeah, baby. Six and a half minutes. Save the data. Okay, I'm seeing how this is working. So you run around, do a little time travel, fix a little problem, talk to talk to a couple people, uh, and save the game when you're done in your little chapter. Play your little chapters, talk to your little guys, solve your little time problems. 3 p.m., the fated hour where I die. Apparently. This loading screen is so creepy and scary for no reason. Sir. Your credit card declined. Pay for your coffee. Oh, good. I wasn't sure whether I'd find you. I'm sorry? Oh, oh, didn't I leave enough for the coffee? Oh, no, that was all right. Here, you forgot this. It is yours, right? Huh? It is yours, right? Such a gorgeous stone, like a jewel or something. It gives me a funny feeling to look at it. If you make it into a necklace, I bet it will look great on a lot of girls. What are you trying to say, lady? Well, uh, this isn't mine. What? But, but but I checked with the other customers. Hmm. Well, whose is it then? So, you came looking for me just to give me that? Um, uh, well, my shift's over anyway, and I thought maybe I'd just try looking around, see whether I could give it back. Oh, I almost forgot. What about this? Did I strike out on this one, too? <laughs> no, this lighter is mine. Thanks. Huh. You're welcome. But I'm always the one running these kinds of errands. I feel so tired. You can't be tired from something that simple. There's a lot of people out there whose lives are a lot tougher. <laughs> like me. He's <laughs> got a way with his words there. <laughs> You're an interesting guy. My name's Ike. Hey, how about it? Should I make you a necklace with this red stone? I may not look it, but I'm pretty good with my hands. Really? He is good with his words. I'll make it for you tomorrow. Should I meet you at the coffee shop? Uh-huh. I'm there all day tomorrow. Great. I'll see you then, tomorrow. Oh, by the way, I should probably mention, I'm dead. Don't go talking, talking and falling in love with girls when you're a dead man, Ike. <gasps> oh, I just got killed! No, I was about to get a boyfriend and he got murdered! <laughs> In front of everyone. There were so many people in that square. What the fuck? It looks like there's someone hiding behind a tree. And that someone is out to get you. Now, how do you suppose you can prevent that? Interesting. And then, here we go. Back again. Down, the, down our little time portal. To 3pm. Where we have to say no. Fuck you, lady. I don't care about your stupid ass gemstone. Hello, sir. Oh, you came back for the stuff you forgot. I made Dana go out to look for you. She said she'd try the town square. Interesting. So we're starting here. So now it's like go to the town square to um to get our stuff. Okay, well let me let me have a look around first. Let's run around the perimeter. Okay, no 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 old man. No creepy man. Where is she? You reckon it's this guy? Cuz he was kind of looking at me weird before. Sir. Yeah, this guy. 
sir? Oh, good. It I looks suspicious. I I'm sorry. Oh, oh, didn't I leave enough for the coffee? Oh no, that's why are we re re everything's the same. Here, you forgot this. It is yours, right? It is yours, right? It's such a gorgeous stone, like a jewel or something. It gives me a funny feeling to look at it. If you make it into a necklace, I bet it will look great on a lot of girls. Yeah, give it to me. Well, uh, this isn't mine. Am I gonna die again? What? But, but but I checked with the other customers. Hmm. Well, whose is it then? So you came looking for me just to give me that? Uh, well, my shift's over anyway, and I thought maybe I'd just try looking around, see whether I could give it back. Am I going to die? Oh, I almost forgot. What about this? Did I strike out on this one too? <laughs> no, this lighter is mine. Thanks. You're welcome. But I'm always the one running these kinds of errands. I feel so tired. You can't be tired from something that simple. There's a lot of people out there whose lives are a lot tougher. Well, <laughs> like me. Like me? I've already died. Twice. In this square. <laughs> My name's Ike. Hey, how about it? Should I make you a necklace with this red stone? Ike, more pressing matters. But I'm pretty good with my hands. You're about to die. Tomorrow. I'll make it for you tomorrow. Should I meet you at the coffee shop? Uh, uh huh. I'm there all day tomorrow. Great. I'll see you then, tomorrow. Oh, okay. It plays out like. Oh, it plays out like normal. That was really strange. Got lighter. What the fuck? What's the matter? Are you going somewhere? <laughs> uh, no. It's not somewhere, it's some when. Is there someone after me? Behind the tree? The angle that we were the angle um yeah, this guy. Oh what the fuck. What's the matter? Are you going somewhere? Yes. Uh, no. Is there someone after me? Behind the tree? What the fuck? It played the same scene twice. Um, I'm, uh... Oh, you're Dana, right? What? At least that's what I heard your boss call you. Oh, so you heard him talking. I'm uh, sorry if I kept you. It's been a while since I got to talk to someone new, and I just feel like we've met before, Ike. Hmm. Really? Really? Oops, sorry. Am I just kind of gabbing by myself? No, no, you're not. Okay, so I can still... What the fuck? What's the matter? Are Why you... does it keep playing this... Okay, so when I try and move, it plays the cutscene. So I literally just have to time travel. It just keeps playing the same cutscenes. This is so funny. I always do this. It's not like I can't stop once I start talking, but a lot of times I think I've said something stupid, so I just start babbling to cover it up. Oh no, this is so embarrassing. But I'm going to keep babbling, aren't I? Dana, you're... What? You're cute, Dana. Huh? What does that mean? Nothing. Sorry. Oh my god, I'm gonna get killed. I didn't mean anything by that. Um, did I seem kind of weird to you? No, no. Don't worry about it. All right, I'm just gonna time travel because I keep acting. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I spent too. I, s I wasted too much time. Yeah, I'm dead. Awesome. Great. I died. I'm just gonna skip that. <laughs> <laughs> so I was I was going to time travel. Most of the time, it will start responding before you are killed. So one way to handle the situation would be to simply shift time as soon as it starts. I know. Dying a few times may be something you must resign yourself to, albeit painfully. 
It's because I just wanted to... It's because I wanted to get the actual... There was different cutscenes playing with different dialogue. It's like, if you want all of the dialogue, you have to die to get it. So we'll go back to the town square. Okay, so it starts me off right here automatically. This guy, because he's got the same, like, white colored thing, hand, on his wrist. Look, if it's about the red stone, it isn't mine. What? Ooh. Maybe you checked with the other customers, but in any case, that stone isn't mine, Dana. Huh? How did you know my name? Oh, that? Oh, I heard your boss talking in the cafe. My name's Ike. Oh, um, I... Huh. You just ruined your chance with a girl. lost lighter tucked away in there. What the fuck? How did you know that? Tell me, this is kind of creepy. You really want to know how? Yes. I'm dead. I lost my lighter in the cafe. Oh, so this is yours. Thanks. Hey, I get it. You're feeling tired from being sent out to run errands all the time, right? Wow. You can tell this from the way I look? Right. <laughs> You're saying I look tired, you rude asshole? Um, alright, I got the lighter, I'm fucking time traveling straight away, holy shit. The time in which I originally exist, what connection is there to me in this time? I'm going back to 1580! I, I literally, they're like, oh, I need to see who's behind me in this tree. Better not just, like, wait behind my current self, like, five minutes to see who stabs me in the back. Better go to the year 1580 instead. That'll have all the answers that I need. Oh my god, we're taking her with us? Oh, that's why we couldn't move away, because we've used it and we've taken her with us. To 1580. It's an episode of Doctor Who, baby. 1580, 7 p.m. Not that that makes much of a difference. Well, we're... you have a nerve, my girl. Really? What with that one being punished yesterday, too? What is it that you don't understand? What's so difficult about being more quiet like? Dressing up a huh. station is an offense, you know. Do you want to be punished like that woman? What's wrong with wearing what one likes? And this dress is one of my quieter ones. Really good ladies. You'd like to wear this kind of a dress yourself, wouldn't you? Well, I never. A little neighborly advice and she sasses me. All right, we'll have the law down here. That's right, you tell her. Oh, that's not very pleasant, is it? Come on, let's just let this pass, all right? Well then, in exchange for us not telling the law, you'll make us dresses for free. Right, that is. You're a seamstress, you are. That's right, you tell her. You'll make me one too. It's illegal. Don't wear bad dresses. I don't see how I could do a thing like that. Make us dresses. Just to be obliging. Ooh! <laughs> uh... What are you? Well, where's Dana? this it's dark already get yourselves home everyone Fetch up. oh sir this man just suddenly i see now it was you this little girl called for help wicked little sly boot oh, the hussy sir you must arrest her at once what i thought i was making you dresses Something like that What's this now? What are you doing here? Making a fashion statement in the 1500s? Everybody's just chilling out? Hold it! Where do you think you're going? Okay. Uh... Hold it! Where do you 
you think you're going? Oh, should I whip out an item that I have? Oh, let's whip out an item that I have. Um, I can't time travel. Should I should I give someone a phone? I know smoking is bad, but I'm going to carry around a lighter just in case. Where did Dana go? We just lost Dana. What's that for? Okay, that's not the correct item. Let's fascinate you with a lighter, everyone. I've got magic, baby. I'm a witch. Lord Almighty. <laughs> <laughs> Listen carefully. Stop bothering this woman and go home. If you do as I say, no harm will come to you. This time. S sir, Mr. Watchman, sir. This. Wh wh and you will keep what happened here a secret. Understand? Yes. Everyone, give your word. I promise. Forgive us, please. Please. Mm -hmm. Uh, will that be uh all? If it is, uh, you could perhaps go away now. Perhaps go away. Go home too. Godspeed. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> uh, let I will just be leaving now. I'm just a simple lawman. Thank you. You saved me. But who are you? I'm being quite the ladies' man. But enough about that. Did you see a girl? <laughs> I'm a girl. About your age? What? Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Why don't you stop by my house? It's right over there. We can't stay out here, and you can tell me everything inside. Let me introduce myself. I'm Margaret. I'm Ike. Ike Kush. Well, Ike, shall we? Ike's got game with the ladies and he doesn't even know. He doesn't even know. <laughs> He's pulled two ladies in ten minutes in two different time zones. Um, you're a bit interesting. Can I talk to you? Come to laugh at me like all the rest, have you? It's a terrible time we live in. You put on a pretty dress and they punish you. I thought the squire would be merciful, but a blonde girl, I wouldn't know a thing about that. Okay, so we've put, you're in jail, but uh, the but this lady, Margaret, uh, is not in jail. At least we've got our old town thingy. <gasps> her, is her house going to be the alchemist house? She's a witch! Got the church and stuff. Have we got weird have we got weird dogs in this time as well? Blocking us from going particular places? I have to hurry in, in where I end up. Alright, it's closed. Because I keep forgetting that like it's literally just time is moving in real time. I can't get killed in the 1500s, right? The murderer can't follow me through time, can he? I don't know. Hello, young squire. That's the Lord's Mansion just past that gate. Cool, thanks for letting me know. It's locked. I feel like I'm only able to go one particular way, and I probably should conform to, to it, being that it's quite time sensitive. Just gonna get one of these little energy things here. Give me an energy unit. Oh, so they're just kind of tucked away around the place. I wonder where the hell Dana ended up. That last interaction was so funny when he's just like, just trying to hurry it along. He's like, come on. Yes, yes. You're Dana. Give me my goddamn ladder. Got ladder. Oh, cool. I just have, with this, I can climb up to high places. Cool, I just have a ladder now. Uh, I guess I'll be able to use that at, at some at some point in time. I don't exactly know when. Maybe if I need to escape the the city walls sometime, I'll I'll give it a go. 
Alright, no dogs preventing us from going places. Let's just uh, follow Margaret to her lovely home, which I believe is the alchemist's house. Seems likely. With the direction that we... Oh no, hang on, we're going... <gasps> is her house the church? It's in this direction. You living in the church, baby girl? You a, you a servant to God in that dress? Eh? No, it's closed. Never mind then. Anyone suspicious in the 1500s hanging around a church? No. Maybe it is the old alchemist home. There she is. Yes. Interesting. What is it? Let's go in here and just let the cutscene play. Mother, I'm home. How are you feeling? I am all right today. There hasn't been a great deal of pain. Is someone with you? A guest? Wow! Would you look at those strange clothes? <laughs> we met in the square. He's looking for someone. Isn't that right? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> My, your friend's voice is remarkably like your father's. Hmm. Do you think so? Where is father anyway? Closed up down there again. He won't come up, even with mother like this. It's all right, Hugo. I love your father better for doing what he believes in. Is that how it is? Hugo, you'll carry on after your father someday, won't you? She, she sounds like the fortune teller. Well, maybe I'll just go take a peek. I wonder if father had his dinner yet. And then we go and talk to the father and he just looks exactly like us. Yes, I'm I'm a fashion statement. <gasps> Do not take my time travel device, sir. Just be careful with that. What is that? Uh it's a machine, a really complicated one. It's uh, well, I I don't know how to explain it to you. Let me guess. It it Makes whatever dish you want appear? No. Okay. That was just wishful thinking. <laughs> well, then... It maps the heavens? No, doesn't do that. Alright then. It... I know! It lets you travel through time! Uh, and you've come from the future! Am I right? Well, actually, uh... What? I'm right? How could that be? You're not supposed to tell him he's right. And is that why you've got such funny clothes on? Well, uh... you <laughs> Mother, are you all right? Hugo. Hugo, you ought not bother our guest so. I'm sorry. He's very curious about everything, just like his father. I suppose he'll become a scientist as well once he grows to be a man. I'm not interested in alchemy, at least not right now. How can I be when it can't even produce a medicine to make Mother well again? Perhaps not yet, but with time and effort, one never knows. I'm sure that's what your father believes, dear. So, your father's an alchemist, huh? Well, something like that. He makes medicine for people, and does stuff like mixing and grinding strange stones and metals. He's always doing that sort of thing. And I mean always, all the time! Hugo, dear. <laughs> Father's completely wrapped up in his experiments. I couldn't even get him to look my way. So what else is new? He's always staring at the kiln. He hasn't even noticed that I was born. 
Hugo. <laughs> Wait. You were looking for someone, weren't you? Tell me, what does she look like? Is this girl like your, you know? <laughs> no, it, it's it's not anything like that. I actually don't remember too well because I just met her, but she was blonde and had her hair tied back kind of high. And I think she was wearing something reddish. Well, everyone wears the same color clothes here, so that's not gonna that's gonna make her stand out. Reddish, huh? Can't say I remember anyone like that. I guess I'll go look around. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Just leave. Oh, you're leaving already? It's dark outside, so be careful. Let me know if you find her. I'll keep an eye out. Tough luck, sis. <laughs> Guess you're just not his type. Oh, what are you talking about? Well, goodbye. Thanks for your help. Oh, no. I'm sorry I couldn't help much. See you soon, all right? Cool. She literally sounds like she's eight years old. Um... Wonderful, 336, 726, you know, just in the year 1580. Um, yeah, she sounds like, um, the mother sounds like the fortune teller. Oh, who's in the square? Who's this? Oh, he's planting the tree! Ah, mate's planting the tree for the center. Haven't seen you around before. A woman? Don't know anything about that. If I don't get this seedling planted by the end of the day, the foreman will have a what for? Well, I don't expect that would be difficult, so it's planting a seedling. Uh, that's interesting. Maybe that's what I'll have the ladder for. I can, like, hide in the tree when I go back to the present. And watch myself get stabbed in the back. Right now, I'm kind of just walking around until my device says, Bing bong, you can go back to the time. Even though you've kind of lost Dana in in uh, <laughs> in the winds of time she's literally just gone surprised she didn't land in with me oh hello sir is there anything interesting happening around here yes girl. No. I haven't seen anyone how about the square? There may be someone there who can help. Yes, there is a prisoner and someone planting a tree. I mean, I'll try again. Because it's it's a bit it's a bit late at night. Nobody gets nobody gets wild on the uh, 18th of November 1580. Everyone's already asleep. I'm assuming everywhere, everywhere else would be closed, so I should just, uh, let's just go back to the square, I guess. And then we can bring back some of that future medicine when we go back to the future for the, for the mother. Here, take this, it's called Panadol. Penicillin. Ibuprofen. Have a great time. Let's talk to this guy again. What do you think you're doing? Only the squire's got the right to come and interrupt my work. <laughs> okay. I'll talk to you again. I'm going to appeal to my lord for my right to dress like this. My lord's manor is right over there. He'll listen to reason. Okay, cool. We're going to the lord's manor. 
Anybody seen a weird blonde girl who I literally just met and had the weirdest interactions with? If anyone's found her, please let me know. Because I've literally just lost her. I don't know what this guy is doing, but he's planting a seed and I can't do anything else about it. So I try going back to the alchemist house and say hello nothing worked nobody nobody's given me any tips what about your alchemist father you got anything let me in the alchemist house what is it Oh, nothing. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? That was my only lead. What is it? Uh, nothing. Should I just return to my own time? And then just take the ladder that I've got with me and climb up the tree? That's my, that's my first thought. Should I just run with that? Let's do it. Let's time travel, baby. I thought it would do it if, you know, only if there was something it, uh, to do if it was, like, glowing. But maybe we can just kind of freely travel back and go, cool, I've got this ladder with me. Let's climb the tree. Now, 344. So I'm here without Dana, who doesn't, who has the red stone still. Oh, I just die straight away. I literally travel to the future and die. Unfortunately, the problem remains unresolved. Okay, that's not what we do. It looks like there's someone hiding behind a tree, and that someone is out to get you. Now, how do you suppose you can prevent that? I don't think that returning to the present is the answer. I know it's not easy, Ike, but think about your options. Amuse me. We must go even further back to 1143, when the town was invented, the town was founded. Wow, I have to start everything. Oh, I have to start the whole thing again if I fail. Ah! Ouchie ouch. Yep, I'm going back in time. See you later. You're coming with me. Hoo-ha! Back to the 1500s, baby! Want to get lost with me in time? Because uh, you don't have a choice. See you when I see you. Looking for the Lord's Manor? Yes. It's not far from here. It's a mansion with a tower. Go out the gate. You can't... Oh. Oh, that's like the kid that was guarding that gate, right? So it's not in this area, it's down that way. Okay. Ah, it says Lord's Banner on the map. Use your eyeballs. Alright. It was locked, though, so I guess we're just going to have to figure out how to get through this gate. Hello again, sir. It is locked. Sir, can you open this gate for me, please? That's the Lord's Mansion just past that gate. Yes. Uh, yes. That's the Lord's Mansion just past that gate. Cool. Um, can I get in though? Hmm. Sir, what if I scared you with the magic lighter? Holy. <laughs> That's the Lord's Mansion just past that gate. Okay, no lasting mental effects on you there, sir. What if it was a ladder from your time period? Can I scare you with a phone? Holy. Okay, what? Okay, so I can get you to react to stuff. That's the Lord's Mansion just past that gate. Thank you so much for letting me know. I had no idea otherwise. Do I have to use the ladder to, like, climb over a wall or something? I can't figure you out, sir. Oh, 
a postcard, my notepad, maybe my notepad will give me some information. The guy who's planting the tree will only listen to somebody who has the squire's crest. So I need a squire's crest. I'll probably get that from the Lord's Manor. What else have I got? Yep, just me looking at a postcard. Cool. I'm screwed. All right, well that's that was that was a that was a fun little fun little activity there, trying to get through to the Lord's Manor. Maybe I'll have to talk to this lady again so she can actually tell me how to get through the door. I'll talk to you as well over here. Haven't seen you around before. A woman? Don't know anything about that. Cool. That's just the same scene. Sir, what if I lit you on fire? W w what the? S stop it! Okay, so that is his him reacting to me showing him something. Take this phone. W w what? Okay. They don't really. Nothing really happens. Hello. What if I showed you the lighter? Ho oh, ho, spooky. Oh, what is that? I have enough horror as it is. Okay, cool. Can you let me know how to get to the Lord's Manor, please? Looking for the Lord's Manor? It's not far from here. It's a mansion with a tower. Go out the gate. You can't miss it. Gate locked, baby. Gate is locked. They literally said no. Can I go down this way? I don't think anything that doesn't have like a green circle on it can be interacted with. Yeah. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get past this goddamn kid and through this door. Like, he could at least help me. Right. Sarah, I can't get the door open. Can I, can I burn the door down? <laughs> no, I just inspect it. This is torture. Sir, what, I'm going to whack you with this ladder in a minute. <laughs> God damn it. The squire's manor is beyond that gate. Oh. The squire's crest. Hang on. Come to think of it, the seal on the manor house is about to fall off. Everyone is saying how it ought to be repaired. Yes? Okay, he's given me new dialogue, finally. But that's it. Mate. You want to take a look inside? Oh. Well, I've got the key. Of course, I can't let you in for nothing. What have you got to trade? Do I just have to? Did I just have to talk to him like five thousand times for him to finally say something? Um, I'm not going to trade you my lighter. Uh, maybe I can use it for something else. I kind of don't want to give you my phone. What can I trade him? Hello, sir. Would you like a ladder? <laughs> um, take my. This is the most useless item in, in my inventory. Take my postcard. Well, all right. Ah! He wants postcard. Nice. Cool. Trade him a piece of paper for the key to the Lord's Manor. That's all we needed. Oh. It's almost as if I've got to use a ladder to get up there. Nice. Cool. Good thing I picked that ladder up. Got medallion. All right. all right, that's all I needed the ladder for. So now the ladder is now a walking hazard to anyone who's leaving the Lord's Manor. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, not much to investigate around here. Let's have a look. Anything? There's a door. To nowhere, to the tower where Rapunzel's being kept. So let's leave. 
Does the medallion mean I now have the status of a squire? And I can now tell the guy planting the tree to beat it? Say, sir, stop planting this tree immediately because someone's hiding behind it to kill me in the future. Sir, cease your activity at once. Blessed Mary, this is the Squire's. What's this now? Yes, I have a message for you. The Squire doesn't want a tree here. What? The Squire would like you to plant flowers. The Squire would like you to put up a statue. He could still hide behind the statue, so plant flowers. I'm not making that mistake. He'll hide behind the statue and kill me instead. All right, then. If the Squire says so, that's that. <laughs> Guess I'll call it a day. <laughs> nice. Can I time travel back now, even though I literally lost Dana? Yep, it's glowing. It's time travel time, baby. Back to the future. It's best that I return as soon as possible. Cool. Lovely. Cool. So Dana is somewhere back there in the past. Yikes. What have I done to get her involved in this? I promise I'll find you. Please hang in there. <laughs> Until then. Please hold. I'm just going to smoke this cigarette. Please hold. Today is a good day to quit. I don't want to die. <laughs> oh, cool. No tree. Just flowers. Chapter 2 completed. Do I want to save? Yes, I will save. That is the longest that I spent yet running around like a crazy person. Um, what I'm going to do there, guys, is... I'm going to call this one here. I was wondering how much I was going to play of this game in one go. And I think that this is a good little point because I gotta go to bed and eat some food because it's late this is a little late spontaneous little gameplay so it's a bonus one that I'll upload at some point outside of the schedule and I hope you enjoy uh, let me know what you think let me know if you want to see more um, and uh, yeah talk to me about the game if you've played it if you haven't hope you enjoy coming along for the ride it's got an interesting premise so far I'm uh, curious to see how it how it proceeds with the with the time travel literally to the 1500s we've lost Dana gotta find her next time so guys thank you so much for watching see you next time